Hey, what's up guys, Yusuf Shaw from TechDroids and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be helping you guys with the best gaming laptop for under $1,000 in 2021. Which are the five best gaming laptops that you can buy under $1,000 that'll give you the best performance, best value for money. And if that's what you want, if that's what you're looking for, this is gonna be the perfect video for you. So go ahead and watch till the end and I'll tell you guys which is the best laptop for you under $1,000. But with that being said, all the laptops that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below to Amazon US and you can buy from these links to help the channel out. So let's say you do buy the gaming laptop from my link. It helps me make more videos in the future. So yeah, I'd really appreciate it. So do buy from my links. But these are gonna be the five best gaming laptops for under $1,000. And with that being said, let's get started. All right, so starting off with the cheapest gaming laptop that you can get under $1,000. It's going to be the Acer Nitro 5 and this has got a 9th generation Core i5, the i5-9300H. It's got 8GB of RAM and an NVIDIA GTX 1650 graphics card with 4GB of VRAM, a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS display and this is a 60Hz display. And you've got 256GB of NVMe SSD here, you've got Wi-Fi 6 and you also have a backlit keyboard and there's Alexa built into this laptop. And for $649, this is gonna be the cheapest gaming laptop that you should go for, that I recommend. So yeah, this has got decent IO as well. So you've got a Type-C, HDMI 2.0, uh, Ethernet jack, and you know, USB 3.0 is also there, DC in, USB 2.0, audio jack, all the basic stuff is here. The build quality is not gonna be the best, the speakers, the battery life, again, you will have to compromise a little bit but the gaming performance itself is gonna be really good. For $649, you're getting really good value here, and this has to be the cheapest option that you should consider in terms of a gaming laptop for under $1,000, so that's that. Now moving on to something slightly more expensive and a little more powerful, you've got the MSI GF75. Now this is a thin gaming laptop with a 17.3 inch full HD IPS display with 120 hertz refresh rate. So now we are getting into the gaming laptop territory with that high refresh rate screen. You've got a Core i5 10 generation CPU, so the i5-10300H, so it's a slightly you know, better processor from the last one and you've also got a you know boost clock of up to 4.5 gigahertz which is good for a laptop and you've got the same nvidia gtx 1650 graphics card here 8 gigabytes of ram and 512 gigabytes of pci ssd so again the nvme drive you've got a webcam you've got ac wireless wi-fi and again bluetooth and windows 10 home is pre-included and it's got a full-size keyboard and a big display and you know again build quality and battery life isn't going to be the best the speakers aren't going to be the best but again, the screen and the performance, the hardware itself is really good and it's got a decent keyboard and trackpad as well. So that's that. Anyway, you'll be using a gaming mouse with this and you have to use headphones so the speakers don't really matter. But for $805 or $800 or so, this is a really good pick in my opinion and you're getting a good mix of display as well as performance. And yeah, the MSI GF75 is a really good option in my opinion. Next up on our list is a gaming laptop from Dell, and this is the Dell Gaming G3 153500. A big name, but this has got a 15.6 inch Full HD display with 144 hertz refresh rate. So now you're getting into that proper gaming laptop, and you've got the high refresh rate screen here, 144 hertz, which means your games will look really smooth. Again, you've got the Core i5 10300H CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of NVMe storage, and a GT. 1650 Ti here. Again, this is a slightly better graphics card with 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Again, you've got Windows 10 Home and you've got the basic I.O. like a SD card slot, you've got USB, you've got HDMI, the headphone jack and yeah, basic stuff is here, USB Type-C and stuff like that. And the keyboard and the trackpad is good, the display is good. The build quality also looks decent in my opinion. Again, this is a slightly more expensive laptop, so that's expected. And again, the battery life isn't gonna be great on gaming laptops, so don't expect too much. For $920, this is a really nice pick in my opinion for a gaming laptop that's under $1,000. Now moving on to the next laptop in our list and it comes from HP. This is their HP Pavilion 15 gaming laptop. Again, a 15.6 inch full HD display and you've got a Ryzen 5 4600H CPU here, which is better than the i5 10300H that we have mentioned previously in this video. And you've also got eight gigabytes of RAM here, 256 gigabytes of PCI NVMe storage, and a GDX 1650 graphics card. A backlit keyboard is there, and Windows 10 is pre-installed. You've got the basic I.O., and you also get a USB Type-C hub pre-included because this laptop is a you know, slightly thinner laptop, and you don't have all the ports here, and you have the RJ45, 
a couple of USB ports and a USB type C port. So yeah, you can make use of the hub to then get the rest of your IO that's missing because of the thin and light form factor. But yeah, it looks good. The laptop also has a SD card slot, which is appreciated for video editing and stuff like that. Decent keyboard, decent trackpad. The display is good in my opinion. And yeah, build quality and battery life again, as I said, it's not really to be expected in this price point, but for $800, this is also a really good you know, value option. So let's say you have only $800 to spend, this is the laptop you should get. Now moving on to the final laptop in this list, and this is gonna be the best laptop you can get for $1,000 for gaming. It's gonna be the Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop. This got a 15.6 inch full HD display, 144 hertz again. It's an IPS screen. You've got a Ryzen 7, an AMD Ryzen 7 4800H CPU. You've also got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 512 gigabytes of NVMe storage, and an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti, which is a really good graphics card in my opinion. Again, Windows 10 is pre-installed. The laptop has a good design, good looks. Build quality is nice in my opinion. And it's that traditional Lenovo Legion look from the back and towards the front as well. And it's gotta be the best laptop in my opinion. But it, again, it costs exactly $1,000, but it's totally value for money. And you should definitely get this if you have the full $1,000 as your budget for a gaming laptop. All right, so those were the five laptops that I suggest you guys to consider if you're looking for a gaming laptop for under $1,000. And if you saw, they were in you know different budgets. So let's say you want something really cheap, you know, on the bottom end, you can get the Acer Nitro 5 for around $650. Let's say you want something in between, you can get the Dell G3 gaming laptop, or let's say you want the absolute best gaming laptop that you can get for $1,000. The Lenovo Legion 5 with the Ryzen 7 CPU and the GTX 1660 Ti is gonna be your best pick for $1,000 for a gaming laptop. Now let's say you ask me, which laptop should I go for from the five laptops that you showed me? I would say, get the full $1,000 budget and get the Lenovo Legion 5 gaming laptop. It's got a good CPU, a good screen, and the better GPU. It's got the best GPU in the list, a GDX 1660 Ti. And again, it's coming from Lenovo, so it's a very reliable brand. And $1,000 is gonna be totally worth it. And that's the best laptop that you can get for under $1,000. But let's say your budget does not allow for you to spend that full 1000 and you want to buy something like a mouse or a gaming headset or something like that you can go for the cheaper options that i you know suggested all the laptops that i suggested in this video are good are value for money are good price to performance they can all play games at you know really good frame rates but again you'll have to you know tinker around with the settings a little bit depending upon which laptop you get to get the best playable experience battery life and just you know build qualities aren't that great but that's to be expected in this price so that's that. And that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys learned something. And now that you can finally buy yourself the best gaming laptop for under $1,000, let's say you do decide to buy any of these laptops. Let me know in the comments down below which one you're buying or which one you already have from this list or whatever laptop or computer you're using right now. I'd love to chat with you guys in the comment section down below. And again, do buy these laptops from my links if you do decide to buy them, because it really helps me out to make more videos. Those are Amazon affiliate links, and it doesn't really cost you anything extra. It just helps me you know, stay motivated in this pandemic time. But apart from that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and smash like button as well as subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. But with that being said, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome, keep smiling. Stay safe, stay home, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.